I can get any guy I want, honestly. I can fuck anyone I want, but can I have a conversation with someone and look at them and feel safe, secure, know that they're educated, smart, they can understand me? No, like everyone can hook up with people. And that's the thing with this instant gratification culture, right? It's so easy to fuck someone. Then it's like, I all respectfully right, disagree, but I'll let you finish, please. Okay, no worries. Yeah, um, it's just like everyone is so fixated on the next best thing, right? And then we don't really get to appreciate the moments. And that's kind of why I built this whole app. I planned the first date for you because that dating is really important to me. I want everyone to have a good, fun, intimate time. Um, so just going back to what I say, right? Like I think building an emotional connection, that's that's what comes into fruition into a real relationship. So for me, if it takes five, six, seven, eight, nine dates and then I get to that level, as long as I feel comfortable and a guy respects that, then that makes me feel more inclined to want to be more sexual with them later on when they don't like press on it. And, and here's the thing. This is this is uh, very interesting because, you know, it's, it's the battle between the genders. This is exactly why, and not to use you as an example, but this is why we tell guys don't invest a lot of money and or time into the first few dates because if you let a woman control when sex happens, which you guys already kind of do, but if guys don't like pursue it aggressively... What's going to end up happening is girls are going to string you along on more dates and you're not necessarily going to get what you want. She's going to get what she wants. And I, and I found it very interesting that you mentioned like, well, I want the emotional connection. I want the bond, all that stuff. Well, that's for you as the woman. The guy, on the other hand, isn't getting what he wants, regardless but of... But do you think every guy really just wants sex? Yes. 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 To be, to be no, very... No, 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 I'll I take it a step so. further. Not the only woman. reason men deal with women in the first place is predominantly for sex. Yep. Like, that, yeah, that, yeah. If, yeah. if y'all didn't have vaginas, <laughs> men would not talk to you. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Big facts. And I know that sounds awful to say, it's but if you really think about it, human beings are put on earth to what? To procreate. So for men, you know, like sex is a very, it's very high on the list. And to be honest, the only reason men really tolerate women in today's day and age is for sexual access. It's, yeah, and it's because think about it. Like, let's, let's look at this from an objective, no feeling standpoint. Women are liabilities. They're resource extractors. Think about it for a second. When, when, when you date a guy, right? You want a man who's taller than you? Mm -hmm. makes more money than you successful etc you're not necessarily looking for an equal you're looking for a superior why so you can extract resources from said man and bring it to you and your children more importantly it's not because you're inherently sure. selfish it's because you bear children so you have to be that way you're hardwired to be that way so women men create women extract so if there wasn't some serious biological need to deal with women aka sex it would be very how do i say this uh shout out to six nine <clears throat> Stupid. For us to deal with women because it's a liability for a lot of the time unless the woman comes in and brings value But let's be honest you talked about it earlier alluded to it We live in a world now where women are totally content with not really adding value to men. They think I'm showing up on a date Pay for the date nigga. I'm here. I'm cute. I'm gonna do some stories All right, I'm gonna go home now <laughs> and they don't really you know what I'm saying a lot of women don't really invest back into men or provide value and it's completely socially acceptable like, You know well, what I mean? We tell guys in the beginning they have to do all the work girl doesn't have to do any work blah 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 Which is fine. It is what it is, but What's happened is we've created a hookup culture where instant gratification, like you said before, but the reason why is because <laughs> women come in saying, gimme, gimme, gimme. So as soon as the guy gets what he wants, he's, he's out because he already knows if I stay on the ship, it's a sinking ship. She's going to keep draining me unless she provides value. So okay. just to finish my, my point is that uh, even though you benefited, you, you got some great experiences, whatever. I'm telling you that dude is somewhere punching air right now because he took you out to two expensive locations and did not get sex i know for a fact he's punching the hair and his friends are probably laughing at him making fun of him because men only deal with women for sexual access we are not like you guys we can't go on a date with the opposite gender and say okay i'm just gonna fill it out and see how it goes and if we don't fuck i don't hey, care I, no men always have a purpose when they deal with you guys I,